Hi everyone and welcome to episode two of Simplify's latest webinar series. My name is Naomi McLaughlin and I am the digital content marketer here at Simplify. In case you don't know us, we are a sales and marketing automation software provider uh, and we're based in Northern Ireland, but we have offices in London and the US as well. We specialize in automating and integrating some or all of your sales and marketing efforts into one easy to use platform. But enough about Simplify, we are not here today to discuss us. We are here today to discuss how to attract your ideal customer every single time. So welcome to part one of this series or part one of this topic. We have started this web series, webinar series, and we are following the Simplify's methodology. So this is a methodology that we have used. It's tried and tested, and we have really found it effective for our own sales and marketing benefits um, and all of our efforts. So we thought, why not share our secret to success? So last week was episode one, and we discussed how to identify your target market. So we discussed uh, personas, and content and how to create that content for them. There is me, sorry, I forgot to click the next slide. So yeah, we discussed that last week and then today's episode we are moving on down and we are talking about how to attract that ideal customer every single time. So in today's webinar, we will be covering a few different topics, but don't worry, we won't keep you around too long. This webinar series, we're really trying to keep them nice and short and sweet. That's why we've broken it down into, I think it's seven different um, webinars. So we'll recap on the previous webinar in the series, which covered the very start of our marketing journey. We discussed identifying your ideal customer, because if you don't know who you're selling to, then how do you know how to approach them? Everyone is different and knowing how to target your audience is one of the most important things to consider before you even start creating any kind of marketing material. So we will discuss that quickly and then we'll move on to today's topic and we will discuss multi-channel marketing. I will tell you how ridiculously important it is and why you need to be doing it and then we'll break it down. So in today's webinar, we're going to focus on website visitor tracking, email marketing and mobile marketing. So these are three of the biggest channels out there at the minute. So we want to make sure that you really know what you're doing. But before I start rambling on, we'll just get straight into it. So last week we discussed getting to know your ideal customer. So what is a key persona? I'm sure most of you out there already know what a key persona is. But for those that don't, the technical description is a marketing persona is a composite sketch of a key segment of your audience. So what that means, it's a generalized, fictionalized character of your ideal customer who you want to sell to all the time. Why do we need to create them? Because for content marketing purposes, you need personas to help you deliver the content that will be most relevant and useful to that audience. It's recommended that you make three to five personas to represent your audience and you need to create content that will add value to their own marketing or might not be marketing. You just need to create value for them. Whatever your product or service is, you are a solution to their problem, a problem that they might not even know they have yet. You can customize your own buyer's funnel depending on your own personas and your own content and what way you want to deliver that content. And as well as that, Getting to know your ideal customer effectively will help you build awareness of your typical audience. So how are you going to target them? Let's throw it back to the 1950s or maybe even earlier, 40s, 20s, whichever era you want to pick in your mind, let's visualize it. Pretend that you're on the hunt for another half. So whether that's a nice lady or man, whichever you decide. Without sounding like a stalker, because that is illegal, you would probably find out where they hang out, a dance hall or a bar or a carnival, and go there until that rom-com movie scene happens when the man or the woman says, do you come here often? Well, you would already know that they come here often because you practically followed them there after finding out what they like to do in their spare time. So let's jump back into 2018, and you're going to do the exact same thing but everything is online now. And instead of finding another half, you're trying to find customers. So figure out where your ideal customer hangs out on the World Wide Web, and you've got a fast track ticket into their stratosphere. You're gonna be right in front of them, and they're gonna know 
who you are. The more channels that you use to market yourself that they already use, the better chance you have at attracting their attention. So here's a little quote to break things up. Businesses that successfully employ a consistent cross-channel marketing strategy enjoy a 14.6% year-over-year increase in annual revenue and a 13% annual revenue. So that is typically why cross-channel or multi-channel or omni-channel, whatever way you want to put it, marketing is so important. Here's another little quote. 46% of shoppers visit a retailer's own app or website while shopping in their store. And 25% of shoppers have made online purchases while standing in a retailer's physical store. So that just puts it into perspective. You need to, yes, if you do have a physical brick and mortar store, you need to be in front of them with your own advertising, but you need to be present on all those different channels that they also use online in order for them to get onto your website and click. And then another really great quote, um, or not quote, statistic from Gar. Gartner Research, campaigns integrating four or more digital channels will outperform single or dual channel campaigns by 300%. So it's not even good enough to be on two different channels um, or even three, but there you go. You've got four or more. So you're talking your website, your all your different marketing channels and your social channels, everything. And you can look, or you can try and get up to that 300% mark. And here we go. Here's a lovely little visual. This is something that was on a webinar that I um, watched just recently. And I think there's over 7,000 different marketing channels right there in front of you now that people are using and people are on, customers are on. So there we go. That is why it's so important because the more you're in front of someone, the better chance you have at selling. So I hope you all downloaded the little worksheet that we sent out yesterday um, as part of this webinar. Worksheets are really um, inform informative and it just gives you much more of a chance to remember actually what the content in the webinar is. So I'm going to give you a few seconds there to fill out question one and two. So question one is what, what is a buyer persona and how would you target them? And why is multi-channel marketing so important? So I'll give you a few seconds. You don't have to write out full sentences. We're not grading these or marking them and there for yourself to keep. It's just a way that you can remember the content and remember what you've learned today. Okay, so let's move on. In this webinar today, we will be looking at three different marketing channels and discussing why they are so important. So there are lots more, obviously, as you all are aware, which will be covered in the next few webinars. But in this series and in today's episode, we're going to cover website visitor tracking, email marketing and mobile marketing. So website visitor tracking, what is it? It is an aspect of web analytics and it deals with the analysis of visitor behavior on your website. So this analysis of an individual's visitors, an, an individual visitor's behavior, it can be used to provide that visitor with options or content that relates to their implied preferences, either during their visit or in the future. So by integrating your website tracking script with your own website, you can get in depth view, an in-depth view to how effective your website is performing and identify who is coming to your site. You can see what pages they're interested in and whether they're achieving any goals set out on your website. And you can see how long they've spent on each page. So it's really important to find out what pages they're interested in and how long they're spending there. And are they really reading or are they just skimming through? So with website visitor tracking, you can track and analyze, you can lead score, increase your following, know who to focus on and create opt-ins for future marketing. So you can turn your website into a lead gen machine through website visitor tracking. You can track what your users are doing in real time, see what marketing activities are working and what's not working and work out exactly which visitors are potential prospects. 
In 2018, unique tools are there that you can use to track and analyze exactly where and what your website visitors are doing. So you can score these leads based on what pages they choose to visit when they're on your website, and then you can create personalized goals for each person. So if someone comes onto your website and downloads a free piece of content, they might not necessarily be as hot as, a, as someone that maybe has looked at your pricing and downloaded a brochure or signed up for a free trial. You're gonna to wanna to spend more time on those leads than someone that's just out to get some free content. So basically, um, website visitor tracking, it's a tool geared more directly towards business visitor recognition through reverse IP tracking. This software can provide a deeper level of statistics and metrics that Google Analytics ever could, and it will display more personalized information on the visitors who are coming onto your website. These metrics, they will be able to enable both your sales and marketing teams to take charge and react in real time to the visitors you're receiving by looking at the quality of them and what they're looking at against their your own ideal customer profile and those buyer personas that you've already created. So website visitor tracking can, can provide your team with valuable metrics. It can help you create keywords. Um, you can look at the companies who have visited. You can look at traffic sources and new versus returning, time spent on site, times visited, or total page pages viewed. So there's loads of really important information and stats there that you can pull from WVT and really get to know your website visitors really, really well. It gives you the ability to make an initial contact with companies who have displayed a qualified interest in your services by visiting your website, but have yet to fill out a form or request a demo. So by knowing which pages the company have visited and how much time they've spent on your site, your sales team should be able to easily identify their pain points and create some kind of personalized approach before they lift the phone or before they make that initial email. So why do you need to do it? I know we've covered there why it's so important. Um, but typically, there's loads of other great reasons. The ultimate thing to remember is that there's no reason to use just one um, marketing channel or one stat and to look at all um, statistics together. Google Analytics is obviously a very good tool as well, but it's going to help you in the long term get more people onto your site. while website visitor tracking software is going to help you access the companies who are interested and to see what pages they're clicking on. You can tie everything together and you can find out which leads are visiting and which leads are maybe more valuable than the others. Both incorporated together can be really effective for your sales and marketing teams and will give your business a really competitive edge. You want to assign goals to individual visitors. So something that Simplify do for our own clients is you can score your leads based on what pages they choose to visit. So like I explained before, you might give someone a higher score if they've looked at your pricing or if they've downloaded a brochure than someone who's maybe just went to your homepage, stayed for 10 seconds and clicked off again. So, now we're going to move on to email marketing. But before I start talking about this, I'll just give you another few seconds to go back and fill in question three and four on the worksheet. So what is website visitor tracking and why is website visitor tracking so important? So again, you don't need full sentences, just a few words that you'll need to remember. Cool. So let's talk email marketing. So what is email marketing? Basically, it's the use of email to promote products and or services. It's really self-explanatory. Um, a better email marketing definition is the use of email to develop relationships with potential customers and or clients. And it is one segment of internet marketing, which encompasses a whole load of stuff like website marketing, social media marketing, blogs, etc. It's essentially the same as direct mail, 
which would have been used years ago, um, except that instead of sending mail through the postal services, um, messages are sent electronically via email. So they're, you're getting right into their inbox and they're going to click. Sending email campaigns through our own Simplify platform is really, really easy. We make it really easy for our clients to do. And you can send to different lists, you can create automated journeys, and you can create all these different things that you need for email campaigns. So you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna need landing pages, post entry pages, autoresponders, and what you want, you really want to do is create a consistent brand across all these marketing materials. So you're building up that trust and that relationship with the person that has clicked to download your email. So with landing pages, post entry pages, autoresponders, you're gaining more and more information about your, your leads, essentially, and you're getting more important details about them that you can put into your CRM. And you're going to want to make sure that you follow up with the, those post entry pages and those auto autoresponders are really important because you're going to want to keep them in the loop of um, here's this piece of content that you've downloaded, but click on our website for more or you've downloaded this. We think that you're going to like X, Y and Z as well. So it's really, really important to use these effectively and to keep your leads in the loop. So again, um, email marketing, it's really, really good to pull back some testing and reports. You can do A to B testing and see what emails are responding best with your um, audience. You can pull real-time statistics on your open rate, your click-through rate, and everything in between. Um, are they downloading? Are they engaging? Are they evening even opening your email? If they're not, then you can start looking at your subject line and what you can do to increase that open rate. Again, email marketing, it's all about sending out some kind of content. So why are they going to click on your email? What are they getting from it? What value are you giving to them? You're going to have to create some kind of really good content that will get them to click on it, download it, and then you're right in their face then. So it's not when you know what content is working really well, then you can reuse this again and again and again and send it out to all new clients. And as well, like I said before, with Simplify, we create automated journeys for our own clients. A lot of marketing automation software platforms do, um, but we can create automated email marketing journeys. When you click start, you won't have to do anything after that. And these are automated. So your audience will receive emails over what kind of time period, that's completely over to you. For example, here we do an automated journey every day um, where someone is getting a different piece of content every single time into their inbox and it's right there in front of them. So email marketing it is still really relevant. Some marketers may say that it's kind of um, past its time. Um, in an age of increasing usage of social media for advertising, email marketing is still one of the number ones, and it still rules the still rules the wrist, according to a study conducted by Host Papa. So we thought we would look at some stats here. So ninety four percent of internet users use email, while only sixty one percent use social media. So there we go, it's right there. Um, Seventy five percent of adult online users say that email marketing is their preferred marketing method. The opt in feature of email allows marketing by consent. So obviously in a time now where GDPR is so important, you will obviously need to get them to consent to email marketing. But, you know, it's still a really, really useful tool. Email marketing allows targeting by demographics. So you can look at age, income, career, profession, all these different demographics and send them out accordingly. Email messages have a much wider range of formatting possibilities than social media messages. So you can make them look really, really up to date or in sync with your own branding. And email offers more reporting than, and analytics, such as click-through rates, open rates, bounce rates, and conversions than any other type of like social media marketing. So you have much more reports and stats that you can work on for future marketing campaigns than you ever would get from Facebook or Instagram.
So let's look at some email marketing tips. Build your own list. So a lot of people out there nowadays are buying email lists, but if you really wanna make your go at email marketing really effective, buying email lists is a waste of time. All you're gonna do by sending unsolicited emails is turn off most of the people you're hoping to turn into customers and you will run the risk of being labeled a spammer. So try not and do that. Don't break the rules. Adhere to the rules of the CAM Spam Act. These rules include having a non-deceptive subject line, a method of unsubscribing, and your name and address at the end of emails. So you wanna be really transparent and clear with your audience. You wanna make sure that you have a clear and to the point subject line. So no, forget about clickbait. You wanna make sure that you're giving them the option to unsubscribe. Again, with GDPR, you obviously have to, but you wanna make sure that you're not pushing it on them and your name and contact details should be at the end of the emails should they wanna get in contact with you. Don't just send out ads to buy all the time. Use your emails to build a rapport and a really strong relationship with customers by sharing your own expertise and that of others. Give them tips and insights that they will value and appreciate. You can share information that lets them know more about you and your company if it's interesting. So you don't want to spam them with a discount code or trying to get them to buy from you all the time. Why not send them out a guide on it or a how-to or an infographic that they're really going to appreciate. And treat your list well. Remember that the people you're using email to communicate with have trusted you with their email and their name. They deserve your respect, just like you would want to be treated with respect. Like we all get spammed in our email inbox every single day and you don't wanna be one of those guys. You wanna give them, you wanna deserve the chance to convert them from customers to fans and even an embolagists for your brand and people who want to talk about and share your message and get involved in any way they can. So treat them well. And be consistent. Stick to the schedule if you're doing a newsletter or a blog. Send an email on a regular day or days that can help your subscribers know what to expect from you and when. So if you're going to say that you're creating a weekly newsletter and it's going to be sent out on a Tuesday, you need to be prepared to fulfill that every single Tuesday because if you're not consistent, then your audience is going to forget about you. So again, let's go back to the worksheet really quickly. I will give you another few seconds there to jot some um, ideas down in question five and question six. So what can you use email marketing for? And write down some of your email marketing tips that you want to remember and you'll find useful. Okay, so let's move on to mobile marketing. So I found this image and I thought it was so funny. Like when would you ever, bear in mind the woman in the photograph has got a mobile up to her ear. So unless this was taken for some kind of advertising purposes, I don't know, hopefully it's not real life. But obviously this is not where we're at. Everything in 2018 is done on mobile. I don't know about you guys, but I do the majority of my internet needings on my mobile phone. So mobile marketing is a multi-channel digital marketing strategy aimed at reaching your target audience on their smartphones, tablets, or any other mobile device via websites, email, SMS, MMS. You've got all the different social media platforms. And then of course, a load of apps there out there that people can download and use. So with Simplify, we have our own mobile marketing um, tools that our clients use all the time, inbound and outbound SMS, um, which are really, really effective. And you can create campaigns based on keyword cost and received. And we make it really easy for our clients to do so on our platform. So let's forget about this. And this is what it's 
more like in 2018. Everything is done on mobile. You need to be in front of your customer via their mobile. You need to make sure that your website is mobile optimized. You need to make sure that those forms where you're going to get their information are optimized for mobile devices. And you want to make sure that it's your website is fully integrated. If you've got a budget there, you could create an app. You know, you want to make sure that you're doing everything that you possibly can to make sure that you're in front of them. So mobile isn't the future anymore. It's right now. It's actually like last year. If you're not up to scratch with your mobile marketing strategy, then you're really losing out on valuable marketing efforts. And it's something that you need to do as soon as possible. You need to think ahead as well. You need to be ahead of the game and get in front of all your competitors. So in the past, websites were all about plain text and basic images. They weren't necessarily designed to be a visually appealing um, thing for desktop computers, let alone mobile devices. And their main purpose was to deliver their data in an effective manner, get to the point. But those days are mostly gone. And now web design has become something of a fashion trend with loads of competition out there. Mobile access to the internet has massively increased in the last five years as well, overtaking desktop computer access in 2014. So high levels of traffic requesting a website via mobile devices simply shows a desktop version which works is not good enough. You need to make sure that you have a fully functioning mobile optimized website that is going to look great on any smartphone or tablet or any kind of mobile device. So creating mobile optimized landing pages for your campaigns is also really important. Test your campaigns when you're building them and use a tool within the builder to ensure that your campaigns resonate well across all devices. So before you hit launch on any kind of campaign, you need to test it on not only on a desktop, but you need to make sure that it looks really great on mobile devices too. Mobile optimized websites are separate from their desktop variations. They are specifically designed for mobile devices and include highly compressed images, much less content and add an overall quicker and more simplified user experience, which is usually what people want when browsing on a mobile. It's not a big screen. They don't have time to read through large chunks of text. They just want to get to the point. Mobile optimized websites are, however, beginning to die out due to the arrival of responsive web design. Um, re responsive websites general, generally need less work, resulting in fewer resources, which cuts development time and costs. And the benefits of a mobile optimized website can now be incorporated into a responsive website with little extra work. So at Simplify here, we do have resp a responsive builder, which you can create a desktop website and a or desktop landing pages and post entry pages, as well as mobile for mobile devices as well. So different types of mobile marketing. I'm just going to run through them quickly. Some of them you probably already know of. It's basically text messaging or multimedia messaging. So your SMS and your MMS outbound and inbound texts. So that's you're going to get right in front of your customer if you send them a text message. You're going to it's going to ping on their phone. It's going to be right in front of them. They're going to have no other option but to open that text message. And then what they do with it, it's over to them. But if you send them something engaging and worthwhile, like a piece of content or a notification of a seal or a discount code, you're sure to get right in front of their eyeballs. And that's what you want to do. Another option is Bluetooth messaging. Um, Bluetooth has kind of gone off the radar in recent years it's not as important or it's not as um popular sorry uh but it's still a really effective mobile marketing tool so instead of sending them an sms and an mms depending on their mobile number you would do it depending on their geographical location so if you know someone is in say uh florida and you want to Get, if, if you know people are in Florida and you want to send out a message about Disneyland, you're going to go onto a Bluetooth device and look for people that are in Florida, for example, or near Disneyland. And then, of course, you've got mobile internet. So most of us nowadays have smartphones with 4G data on it. We're on the internet a, a lot of time of the day, far too much time, if I'm honest. I spend a lot of time scrolling on my phone on the internet. So if you want to get right in front of them, you you know, you've got loads of opportunity there. 
you've got your online messaging apps, you've got all your social media apps. And, you know, if you're not using these tools now, then you really, really need to. So again, back to the worksheet, um, seven and eight. Now I'm going to let you do. So name four different types of mobile marketing and name two benefits of mobile marketing. So how would you do it and why would you do it? Great. So like everything, you need to measure and monitor your success. So you need to measure your content that you're sending out on all these multi-channel marketing campaigns. You need to look at key metrics to determine the success of your content. These will include impressions, click-through rates, conversion rates, sales directly from a piece of content, as well as your own website stats and all those stats pulled from the website visitor tracking. The beauty of digital is that it's all measurable. You can look at everything, compare, contrast, how well is something doing, how bad is something else doing, what do I need to improve, how can I work on this? You can do all this from pulling all these stats. You can refine along the way. So if a piece of content isn't performing well, it's good to investigate why and make changes. You've got loads of resources out there nowadays and A to B testing is a great way to test content before a full launch. So you'll compare and contrast two different pieces of content and see which one works best. And test, test, retest and test again. You need to test every single thing before you do any kind of launch. Include all the links, test them, include all the buttons, test them and always get a fresh set of eyes to read all of the copy before it goes out. I'm a content marketer, I write content for a living and it's really easy to miss over a really minor mistake that you think's fine, you're looking at it on a digital screen, oh yeah that's fine and then you get someone else to read it and it's like you spelled the wrong in sentence three. It's really easy to do, we all do it and just getting that fresh set of eyes will give you another angle on it. So just to head home, here is another reason why multi-channel marketing is so important. 50% of multi-channel marketers say they usually or always hit their financial targets. How many times have you said that you always hit your financial target? As any kind of small to medium business, even massive corporations out there, not everyone hits their financial target every single time. So the better chance that you have at it, obviously you're gonna try and do it. So the best way to do that is through multi-channel marketing. And we'll just go through some top tips for successful multi-channel marketing. So it's not just enough to be present and make sure, make use of all these different channels and make sure that you're creating a consistent presence on them. There are certain measures that you need to be, need to be considered to give your multi-channel marketing the best chance for success. So CRM software, which is something that Simplify offers in our integrated platform, you will be able to view all of your data from each of your different channels in one place and it is the absolute number one key to success. This will allow you to have a comprehensive user profile for each of your customers to view in the one place. You can see how often they're using your app or your website, what sort of, what sort of content they like best and what marketing channel they're most likely to engage with. You can then use this information to tailor your marketing efforts towards that user, helping them to pers helping your sales team to personalize their experience and build long lasting, meaningful and trustworthy relationships in the process. You will have a clear goal if you want to be successful with multi-channel marketing. So every campaign has a different goal. It could be to gather leads or increase engagement re-engage lapsed users or to re-engage users who've opted out of something. You might want to increase downloads or increase in-app purchases, but for whatever the reason, you have to have a clear understanding of your goals. Make sure that everyone in the sales and marketing team are aware of these goals so that they can all play a part in the campaign to help best meet them. You need to know your audience. So use your CRM software to, to create personas of your ideal customer, which we've already discussed at the start of this webinar and at length in the last webinar. 
You want to know what their needs are and what wants are and what communication channels and what types of content appeal to them. You want to do a bit of research using either previous campaigns, customer feedback or demographic information to build a clear image of your target market. The more relevant and targeted a message is to a user, the more likely they are to engage with it. Be consistent. Like we said before, unless you're, if you're going to say something, you need to stick to it. So consistency is vital when it comes to carrying out a successful multi-channel campaign. Each channel you use should offer your user a consistent experience across each of them in terms of messaging, the tone of your voice, your branding guidelines, and what your company values are. So of course, this will vary slightly due to the fact that you can say a whole lot more in an email in comparison to a tweet. But overall, you want to make sure that the whole essence of the message should remain the same. And like I said before, you really need to make sure that you monitor and measure all of your success and your downfalls as well. With multiple channels in play, it is vital to continually measure results carefully through the duration of the campaign. Use these analytics gathered from your CRM to inform which channels which were most effective, which channels need more work and which channels are just a wasted effort and can be completely taken out of the equation. You're going to save time and you're going to save money as well. Planning a successful multi-channel marketing plan takes time and effort. However, a CRM and marketing and a successful marketing automation platform like Simplify that is tailored to your specific needs is always a good place to start your marketing strategy. So there you have it. That is how to discuss, that's how website visitor tracking, email marketing and mobile marketing can be effective in your multi-channel marketing campaign. And that's the webinar complete. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, today's episode, we discussed how to attract your ideal customer every time. This was part one of this webinar. Like I explained at the start of the series, or at the start of this episode, sorry, we are going through Zimplify's methodology. So in next week's webinar, we're going to discuss again, how to attract your ideal customer every time, part two. And we will discuss more multi-channel marketing campaigns that you can try for yourself. If you haven't already, sign up to more episodes in the webinar. There, I think there's at least five more to come over the next five weeks. If you don't already, follow us on all of our social media platforms. We are Zimplify. We are on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And if you, do, if you want to check out more about Zimplify, just see our website at www.zimplify.com. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.